Die, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Die, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to... How positive, how positive. A very positive evening of American in Yerevan. You're listening to 103.0 Radio Vaughn with Ina MK. And Steven Oxner. And... and Renata Melianic. And Eva Sky Neely. Welcome. Thank welcome. you. Thank you for having us. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for being here. I just have to tell a quick story. I was in. Uh, this is not a. This is not an advertisement. That's the reklama. Not an advertisement. But I was in Green Bean, the very cool cafe that we have here in Yerevan, and I met these Green two Bean. wonderful <laughs> ladies. And I thought, oh, those are Americans. Yes. You know how you can tell Americans. Have, do you have that instinct when you're you're just like, walking Usually through? Usually, when I hear them speaking we'll speak English, is my loudly. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, <laughs> and and I saw you and I thought okay well you weren't speaking loudly though and you were well you were I think you were speaking okay. English but sometimes it's just kind of <laughs> like the way we sit or the way mm. we drink our coffee we and I, think we had our computers out too yeah, yeah the computer out, out is and always we a, had ordered the unlimited filtered coffee <laughs> yes, so yes. we were going at it so after the third coffee I was like okay yeah the, and the, also the, maybe the comfort zone yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's I asked there. them what they're doing here. In Yerevan. What are you and doing? And they said, we're actually, we're, we're on uh, like our break. It's like our break from our real lives. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is your real life then? <laughs> it turns out that they're in the Peace Corps. You're in the Peace Corps. That's we right. are in the Peace Corps. That's right. Yeah. Amazing. First of all, <laughs> let's, can we just, uh, I think a lot of people don't know uh, what is the Peace Corps. Could you answer that question first for us? Sure. Um, all right. Well, the Peace Corps was a um, initiative started by... Um, Kennedy. Yep. And we just had the 55th <laughs> anniversary. 55th anniversary. Anniversary uh-huh. of the Peace Corps. And what it is, is it sends um, trained men and women from the United States to um, countries that have requested volunteers to assist in whatever that country wants help with. So we're here in Armenia right now. There's two programs. One There's, with... Right. Community and Youth Development Volunteers and then TEFL uh, Volunteers. So Teaching English as a Foreign Language. Teaching English as a wow. Foreign Language. TEFL. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, it's easier so to say that one. We're, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and um, we're here for 27 months. This is our six month of service. Six three, months uh-huh. in country. Right. Six months in country. Three months of pre-service training. And uh, three months of being in our sites, um, alone or with a few other volunteers, uh, all throughout the country. All so throughout the whole country. And how many, uh, just for the record, how many of you are there in Armenia at this moment? At this moment, there's about 60, give or take 10. <laughs> 10 or so. 50, so 60, around, 70. around 60 of us. We have two groups here currently. <laughs> Uh, we are the 20 through, uh, 23rd group here in Armenia, and we have the 22nd group uh, as well. So A22 and A23, that's the kind of official okay. name. Okay, A22 cool. to A23. Yeah. And then on uh, March 23rd, so coming up really soon, we have the A24 group coming. So there will be over 100 uh, Peace Corps volunteers currently serving. Over 100? Give or take wow. 10. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we're not, we're not so enough. set give, on the number. Give yes. or take 10, 20, 30. <laughs> Uh, these four volunteers. <laughs> it could be one, could be two hundred. You know I mean? <laughs> Are you guys having reunions here? Certain like of all the volunteers. We we do have like impromptu, informal, <clears throat> formal gatherings of volunteers every once in a while. Um, so you know, more or less, you've met these 60, 70, 50 yes. volunteers. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. I think not even more or less. I think at some point or other, we've met every single every volunteer single in the country. Oh, yeah. gosh. Met, yeah. So you have like ice cream socials. We, you have I a, do. You have like a, a <laughs> yes. dance every two weeks we on Friday. We have Peace Corps prom, which is Peace actually Corps. a thing. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it happens once a year. Um, yeah, so yeah, we get together. Talk, hash it out. <laughs> Dance at Dance, arm's length. Right, arm's length. Right. On the hips, on the shoulders. Uh, the marshmallows. Yes, roasting oh, marshmallows, marshmallows on the campfire. Yeah, I all the things that, that you miss. Nice. So, yeah. so it's yeah. like makes you like feel home, maybe. It, it does actually for, for a certain amount of time. Yeah, <laughs> for yes. a day or so. Armenia, um, and this is the thing. We're uh, I'm I'm speaking on behalf of myself. I don't really know for anyone else or. Peace Corps in general, but it definitely feels like home for me, uh, Armenia. 
Oh, oh, that's this is cool like because cool. Stephen yeah. Stephen tells that mm-hmm. from time to time. So this this is really nice because to hear. Stephen is also an American from Colorado. From Colorado, I'm also Colorado represent. represent. Yay. <laughs> yes. So this, yeah. there's something really special about Colorado. There is. <laughs> yeah. They something have really we have eccentric people for uh, Colorado. <laughs> yes, a, a eclectic group. It is. Yeah. 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 It's a it's, it's a state where everything is accepted. Yes. Everything. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Very true. Very true. You uh, you said that there are two different kinds of Peace Corps volunteers. I'd just like That's to clarify right. for all of our listeners: you are the TEFL we volunteers, are. correct? Uh, so you're teaching English mostly. Yes, exactly. Oh, yeah, our job too. specifically is actually to work um, to work with Armenian English teachers. So as our own positions, we're not technically. We're not teachers in and of ourselves. What, we're, what our job is is to work with um, current teachers in Armenia to kind of try to exchange different teaching methods, um, strengthen strengthen the English speaking skills of our counterpart just by having a you know a fluent English speaker to communicate communicate with regularly. Because a lot of the teachers in Armenia, um, you know, they speak English very well, but outside of a classroom, they just never have an opportunity to speak in English. Yeah, it's right, all about right. practice. Yes. And those yeah. the schools request for volunteers to come and teach there. And a lot of the times, at least for me, they just ask for me to teach the students conversational English. Yeah, and exactly. <laughs> right. Right now, they uh, it's a lot of textbook based. Uh, right, and like Renata said. Yeah. They don't really use or practice English outside yeah. of the classroom. Yeah, like London is the capital of Great Britain, exactly. stuff like that. <laughs> and, um, right, we try to focus on you know, more student-centered approaches that, like, really uh, inspire the students to learn English and engages them. And it's also a good opportunity to introduce, like, programs like the Flex program. I know, what did you do? You were a Flex Flex, uh, yes, I was yeah. I was a flex student in 101, uh, 2001 from 2002 to 2002, yeah, yeah. <laughs> one academical year. So, and I was in Indiana. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's I personally have never been to that Indiana. That was rude. So. <laughs> From the Music Man, you know the Gary Indiana song. So that, that might be as far as that knowledge. Goes. And Indiana Jones. Also. Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. Which just I am. So there is more than corn in Indiana. <laughs> I am a major fan of Indiana. Uh, I my nickname is Indiana Eva. Wow. Uh, I'm starting that. I'm starting that. <laughs> right now, um, I'm starting that. Nickname. But so programs like that. Uh, also, um, opportunities like we have Write On. We also have this poetry contest. A that, poetry contest? Yes. Wow. Um, I want to do that. That's cool. Yeah. Can we write poems for it's, the poetry contest? No. Uh, no. <laughs> no. no it, uh, students recite uh, like Walt Whitman poems. I think that's this year's competition. And they describe what that, that poem means to them uh, in Armenian oh. or in English. And it's just like another opportunity for students to, to practice yeah. English and like express kind of creativity in, in certain ways. Um, and then we have Write On, which is a creative writing uh, program kind of contest. Yeah, it's okay. a um, yeah, it's a contest that different schools submit um, different just any kind of work of creative writing that their students have have written, um, and then it goes on from a school competition to a regional competition, and then it eventually all gets submitted. It was actually started by Peace Corps Georgia, was the um, the program that initiated this creative writing. Um, and is there an evening where where the pieces are read, and and uh, and everyone shares in the experience of this creative writing? It is. It's they are. Or is it like a panel who accepts them and a, they read they them all and, them and, and they read, them, read them, uh, yeah. announce the, the the winners? Yeah. Wow. Cool. It's, and this is in English as well. Yeah, yes, it's in English. And what one of the Not the bad. most important things that we at least. Uh, for write on is that the students write in English, but it doesn't matter so much the grammatical or spelling mistakes, but just that they're expressing <clears throat> like creative thoughts, like their stories. They're inspired by certain things, and they write it down in English. So they try, and it's okay <laughs> to make mistakes. That's great. That's, yeah, it's great. It's okay. Um, it's like to get rid of your complexes to express yourself. Exactly. Like, so it's a way to express yourself that's in a, English. That's one of the main barriers you mm-hmm. you need to overcome. Yeah. To. That's one of the main Sorry. things that um, the English teachers that I've worked with have said. And 
um, just that, you know, all of her students, and I know this from reading things that they've written and from um, just kind of knowing their test, their test scores, that they know the grammar just fine. They can explain all the grammar rules. But when I ask them a question, it's, there's just, there's kind of, um, it's a pride thing. You know, they just, they're really want, they really want to do well. They're so driven to do well that they're scared to make that mistake. Yeah. And so I think that that whole, the whole purpose is to get them comfortable just doing it and then fixing the little tiny mistakes, whatever they do later. Well, we are feeling uh, incredibly comfortable here in having this conversation yeah, with our. S- this is our second it. round of guests here on American. Oh, yeah. yeah. so we're our second <laughs> no, <come on>. and <laughs> third guest. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. No, come on. And we'll be right back after this advertisement with more experiences and more questions for you <laughs> as Peace Corps volunteers in Armenia on American Year of On 103.0 Radio. With Steven Oxner, oh, MK, <laughs> and Eva <laughs> Sky Neely, and. And <laughs> and oh, Renata. Malionic! <laughs> Malionic! <laughs> we are still here in the studio listening to a song requested by Eva. Bohemian Rhapsody. Hey! And we have some callers, some very special yeah. callers. Hello! Hello! Hello. This is Hello. Daniel, as far as I understand. Daniel. Uh-huh. However, yes. it could be Victor, it could be Paige, it could be Sarah. <laughs> no, I don't think <laughs> I don't this think, is Sarah. I think it's Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, Daniel. Daniel, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was a nice guess. <laughs> how are you doing? Pretty well, how are you? We're we're really excited tonight since we have such cool guests <laughs> and we're enjoying our evening. Mm, you are also Peace Corps volunt- volunteer, are you? Yeah. Yes, I just wanted to call in and support my uh, fellow volunteers on the radio tonight. Cool. Aww, <laughs> you did the right thing. You are there here, I guess, for us in spirit. Seven hours away. Seven hours away. Seven Come hours on, away. Seven hours away. Where are you right now? Kapan. Wow, Kapan. And did you uh, did you get to travel around there in the south? In in the south, I've been to Gori uh-huh. and Honduras, and I've been across cool. the Honduras Bridge where Sarah who is with me lives and she took us on a tour of the Satan's Bridge there. say that again Satan's Bridge <laughs> oh the Honduras Bridge yeah well there's also <laughs> no, Satan's no. Bridge then, on the way to Tate Bridge on the way to Tate which I've also been over yeah. <laughs> in, a, in a scary uh, school bus that goes up and down the mountain so you were in Tate I have been to Tate yeah. wow this is cool this is one of my Beautiful. favorite monasteries in Armenia mm. Did you like it? I did. Yeah, it was really um, beautiful right there in the in the canyon, that gorge there, looking out. And then I also got to stay in the village, which was really nice because I got to see the the touristy area as well as the um, the residential area where the the ARL tramway. Did you get a? Uh-huh, I rode the tramway over with okay. a volunteer who lives in Pato. Wow, this is cool. You pretty much saw everything, <laughs> well, most of the sightseeing in the south. <laughs> so, Daniel, I have a joke for you. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, uh, there, <laughs> there's a glass of water on a table, and an optimist okay. walks past and says, Oh, that glass of water is half full. And then a pessimist walks past and says, Oh, that glass of water is half empty. And then a Peace Corps volunteer walks past the glass of water and says, Oh, I could take a bath in that. <laughs> Yeah, we got a laugh from Daniel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a special laughter from South of Armenia. Is this Bye. is this a true <laughs> joke? <laughs> Depends on the season. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Do you have any questions? We all look, we all look forward to our a, uh, our visit to Yerevan to have nice warm good water pressure showers. Yes. Nice warm good water <laughs> pressure showers. <laughs> Do you have any questions for our guests here in the studio? Um, we were thinking of questions, and we would like Uh-oh. the volunteers in the studio to share their happiest moments in Armenia as Peace Corps volunteers. 
Wow. Oh. Good question. Good question. That's a good okay. question. Okay. Here we go. All right. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll take this one first. This I, is Eva speaking. This is, yes, this is Eva. Indiana Eva. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah I'll go with that. So, I have to admit, one of the, the happiest moments, and it's a reoccurring moment, is honestly just this relationship uh, that I've built with my host family that I live with now. Uh, I live with a grandpa, a poppy, uh, a host mom and a host dad, a host brother and his wife and their child, a one and a half year old and their newborn baby. And it's a big family, but they're the sweetest, kindest people I have ever met anywhere on this planet. And like just coming home to them and just <clears throat> eating their amazing food. Armenians know how to cook. I can tell that, uh, say that for sure. Um, they, they're amazing. And after like a long day at school with very mischievous, crazy children, Chata Chichian, um, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> knows to, all these words. I have to admit, uh, coming to home to them is just amazing. And also being in Got, living in Got, uh, beautiful nature, everything. Happy moments all the time. Yeah. Renata? Oh, I think that kind of along what Eva was saying, I think one of my... I can't really sum it up in one in one happiest moment, but it kind of is those little moments that really just show me just how wonderful people can be. I um I missed the train to Yerevan once, and um, some man just offered to drive me until we caught up with the train. Um, or one time, a taxi driver was trying to drive me to one of my students' recitals, and we went to three of the wrong music schools um, before we got there. And we finally, we were on our way and I was thinking, okay, like, Renata, you have to be strong when this man tries to charge you for all of the stops, you know, that you guys have made for all the time. You have to be firm. You have to tell him this. And we get there and I was like, how much is it? And he just tells me, he's like, it's nothing. This is my fault that we drove around so much. Whoa. Um, and so just like little things like that, I yeah. think are really, really what make things special to me. Um, and then on a more personal note, I found cows in the city of Gumri and um, I was not expecting that uh, because I really like animals and nature and um the kind of like country thing so the one day where i was walking around i looked down and there was just a field with cows like right outside the city of gumri <laughs> was probably just as happy of a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, almost, Daniel, almost. <laughs> would you be able to share your happiest moment as a volunteer so far daniel um, daniel it's very <laughs> 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 i think I think, like Renata was saying, it's hard to sum it up into one thing. It's um, it's a composition of beautiful things that kind of you take uh, a moment to appreciate every day. Those simple things, because Peace Corps is really difficult. So being able to acknowledge the the one good thing that happens every day is uh, is kind of what makes this whole experience worth it. And Armenia has been really beautiful, so that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> well, well thank you Daniel, very much for saying it and thank you very much for calling us tonight Daniel thank is you. there a special song you would like to listen to tonight any kind of song yeah do you have Halo by Beyonce <laughs> oh, nice. I'll bet, I'll bet I think we that. will. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think we do. Thank you. That's for Renata and Eva. Oh, thank <laughs> you, Daniel. Thank you. <laughs> okay, great. Thanks for calling in. Thanks for supporting yep, thanks your for your Have fellow volunteers. Evening. Have a great evening down there in the south. Hey, is it warm down there already? It was beautiful today. It was about 70 degrees. Nice. That was very nice. Cool. 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 All right. Well, thank you for calling. Thank you to Sarah and Paige and to Victor and to you, Daniel. Um, keep listening to us, and maybe there will be more people that call back. Oh, All right. Call Have a All great right. evening. All right. And Good night, guys. Sorry. Good night, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I hung up on them already. <laughs> Dang it, Steven. But you can still say that because they're, no, they're, they're listening. listening. No, and I would like to remind our listeners that they can like our page and write their ask. Um, write their questions to our page so yes go to american in only. yerevan yeah american in yerevan on yeah. facebook and you can also download our application radio van and listen to us on your smartphones anywhere you go <laughs> hey i think we broke a record today the most americans on the air in europe well yeah on the air in yerevan ever was one two three four five six. yeah Seven. The most American, Seven. the most American American in Yerevan. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> we're happy to help you reach that, <laughs> Thank you. that goal. <laughs> Stick around. We're still here. We're here every Wednesday and Friday from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Right now we're going to have a quick, sh- very short um, advertisement break with some more songs starting. <laughs> Listening to a very special song by Beyonce requested by Daniel. And dedicated to Eva and Renata because we have in our studio two... Peace Corps volunteers who have been in Armenia already for six months. Wow. Bravo. And and they're still here. And still alive. (laughs) And since Peace Corps volunteers are so much about support and supporting each other, we have another caller. Rachel, hello. Yeah, Peace Corps Brotherhood. No, she hung Rachel, up Rachel. Her. Rachel. No. Rachel. No, Rachel. No. Rachel. <laughs> okay, maybe Rachel. she'll call back. We'll hope that she's just going to call back here in just one second. And for now, um, we we were just uh, during the music break talking about rules. This is something that the world is really into. Uh, you <laughs> rules and yes. how to break them? That the, that the no, rules exist. Yeah, and that we should pr- try to break them as quickly as possible. Right. And then be like, oh, sorry. I, I forgot. That's right. <laughs> My mother always taught me um, act first and ask for, ask for permission later. That was always yeah. her. My mother's motto growing up. So your mom. My mother. Wow. <laughs> the, the lessons cool. I've been raised with <laughs> for all of us. <laughs> Wait a second. So it was like, it was like, uh, mom, I, uh, I got, I got kind of drunk tonight, and I'm coming home at two a.m. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, it was like sorry. Kind of thing. Not, honestly, and she was like, "Good, never, good job." Never actually it's good that you didn't ask that permission. <laughs> or what, oh, sorry, no. It was. Um, it's better to get forgiveness than permission. Let me not misquote my mother. Well, That's what a it lot was. of times it seems like getting permission is a lot is much harder. Yes. In this world. Yes. But we. I wanted True. to ask you about uh, some of your experiences with rules in the Peace Corps. How has that gone for you? Uh, in your experience. And uh, Ina, because Ina, I know, has some pretty funny stories about when she was in America. And was, <laughs> she I had, had to curfews. <laughs> we did, too. We did, too. Yeah. Um, during our Peace Corps training, we were required to be back in our training villages, in our clusters. Um, we were all kind of split up into different, different training villages of about 10 or so volunteers per village. Um, and we did. We had to be back in our villages by 7 p.m. every night. By 7, by 7 p.m. Yes. Yes, oh, no. which um, before the sun was set, and we'd watch <laughs> lonely from our windows. As the sun was set, and we would be alone back in our villages. No, I'm just kidding. We you could know. we could be outside in our villages though. <laughs> we were behind. Oh, okay. so that it was, was like, my windows. Like that was out. that was just me. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. The same is is like lights lights out. Everybody. It wasn't lights out. No. Don't don't even you turn your flashlight on. You were supposed to sit in the basement. <laughs> right, sit in the basement alone. You know? <laughs> behind the uh, yeah. right, behind the we have the, the shadows of you know wires and bars on our faces. Yeah. Well, I know also that you have to. It's deceiving because they say two years, right? But it's actually twenty-seven months it that you actually. have to serve. Yes. It's like, is it like the military? Like, there's a big, it's a big deal if you quit early or something like that, or is it? No, 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 no we can either. leave whenever we want. Oh, you could. I could if you call to. and say, I want to go home now. I'm fed up. And yeah, and they'll be like, I want to okay, go Eva, home. You're going home now. <laughs> really? And then I couldn't change my mind. And, uh, it yeah, you, you can't come back. It's more it's more of an integrity thing. There's a couple things that um, the Peace Corps really asks you to keep in mind when you're applying for the Peace Corps and when you get accepted. And one of them is to prepare yourself, um, your personal life, and um, kind of yourself mentally for 27 months. Um, away from home, away from your family, your friends. So while the Peace Corps isn't going to say, no, you said you would be here for 27 months, sorry, you know, (laughs) departure denied. Yeah. I think it really is, for the amount of work that we go through to get here, um, I think it really, it places a lot of emphasis on kind of self-imposing that... Ah, so it, that on because yourself, it was such a big, big, uh, commitment. big, yeah, commitment and a big preparation to coming and, and serving. You kind of yourself already are ready for the, for whatever will yeah, happen. Yeah, I think the the whole application process they kind of they select oh. people who are ready. 
who know yeah. they kind of want to take the plunge. At least yeah. I think initially. Okay. Um, I no, see. one of the rules that I I'm bummed about is uh, we're we're not allowed to go hella skiing. I've never. <laughs> I've we never... didn't know what that was. Wait, what is hell here? <laughs> Can you describe? Because like I forgot what leaping that is. Leaping like Arnold Schwarzenegger, <laughs> yeah. triple X style, out of a helicopter, uh, and then like onto a mountain, and then like oh, skiing down. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah. I can't, that do is that. A can't do that. I can't do that. I've actually, as a Colorado, Lame. I've never gone skiing before. So I want. What? Yeah, I Wait, know. what? Uh, I, it's. Get out of here. Indiana Eva from Colorado <laughs> has never. N e v e r f never <laughs> in skiing. Oh, never. And How? even Armenia. I think actually the first time I will ever go skiing is in Armenia. So. But not hell skiing, skiing because not you're not allowed. Skiing. Right. Not hell skiing. No, no. Well, no. it's it's all about the baby steps, you know. <laughs> <laughs> start out somewhere. <laughs> Exactly, on the bunny slopes, being laughed at by Armenians. I like this. I can't imagine. Uh, and what, so did you they... had... Yeah, right. yeah, go ahead. I just think about how rules are made usually because someone did it. Yep. I so, <laughs> about that one. You know, yep. like, who was who was the famous Peace Corps volunteer who decided they wanted to go hella skiing, skiing between their English classes? Right. right. That's mm. a funny one. And so it didn't end, end up in a good way, I think. That's why they stopped. <laughs> they had created right. this rule. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you had a like w like when I was uh, going to travel to the U.S. We had this pre-departure orientation where we went during which we were taught like, okay, don't kiss people when you meet them on the cheeks because it's <laughs> weird for Americans. Don't stay too close to them mm -hmm. because they have the certain comfort zone and blah blah blah, a lot of stuff like that. So <laughs> did, yeah. <laughs> did did you have something like that? when you were traveling here or and uh, was it was it true <laughs> um well yeah but kind of about personal boundaries like I uh yeah kissing on the cheek I never know like which direction to go uh, I'm like <laughs> navigating around actually Renata has a wonderful story no! <laughs> I think she should tell it or if she doesn't want to, you have I, to tell oh us. dear um yeah yes. no so we had a um when we first met I can't believe this is going on for everyone to know um yes. We had. You um, can do it. I can't do Renata. this. <laughs> we had a counterpart conference where um, we, you know, the first time we were to meet the people that we're going to serve with for the next two years, and I um, was not entirely sure what was culturally appropriate when I met one of my uh, another volunteer's uh, counterparts, and sort of very like went in for a handshake but then i thought she moved in so i tried to kiss her on the cheek but then she made it very clear that's not what i was supposed to be doing <laughs> so, whoa what are you doing so i just like so i just kind of came up like turned out with me like kissing the air about six inches in front of her nose and then that was then i shook her hand and left um because <laughs> that was confusing <laughs> we know how to make good first impressions here <laughs> renata is the pro <laughs> <laughs> I'm integrating too much. <laughs> so too much. Too excited. Feeling too, too a little excited. bit too close to yeah, yeah. the Armenian counterparts. Exactly. <laughs> yes. You remember, Stephen, we had this episode about sharing our first experience in yeah, the United course, States. Yeah. And I was telling Stephen how when 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 I was for, when I first went to our senior class, I was a senior, 15-year-old Stephen. Wow. Senior a student. 15-year-old Stephen. Yeah. Stephen. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> yeah so um well i was warned that i was not supposed to kiss on the cheeks people when i was when i mm, was greeting people but i still did and you know what happened at the end of the year the whole, whole our class was kissing each other oh, <laughs> well, that's well great greeting. that's great cross-cultural so it was, exchange. A, it was yeah. a kissing revolution <laughs> it was the kissing revolution in indiana <laughs> you didn't no hear about it. 2000 the 2001 kissing revolution right yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's in the news. <laughs> okay, more <laughs> funny stories and strange experiences, and I hope that Rachel calls us back. Yeah, Jennifer, Rachel. Yeah, Rachel. Maybe. What am I waiting for? Could have been the like a Viva Cell or Orange. It could issue be an internet, or, or like yeah, like a cell service issue. Yeah. 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 yeah, We could call her. We could try to call her. Yeah. We have okay, her. well, we'll figure it out. We'll listen to another advertisement and some more music and yeah. come back here on 103.0. <clears throat> and don't Radio forget Bond. to call us 56090. Hello and welcome back. We are listening to 100. We were listening to 100 Ways and we have Rachel on the line. 
Rachel? I am back. Yes. Oh, She's back. yay. Hey. Hey, Rachel. Did your minutes run out? Is that what happened? Yeah, they ran out. Of yeah. Oh, oh, you should have opportune moments. Oh. I'm sorry that we wasted your last minutes on just listening to whatever. So that hello, song Rachel was. Yerevan calling. <laughs> yeah, hello, hello Rachel and Yerevan I'm calling. I'm always in Yerevan, and I can't believe I'm not there right now. <laughs> oh gosh, what do you mean you're always in Yerevan? I'm, I live like 30 minutes away. Oh, you know, so you like come here? Close. Yeah, I'm there a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I like Yerevan. Like... <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite thing about Yerevan? Oh, um, I'm not sure. I like so much about Yerevan. Um, it's a city with places to go and things to do. <laughs> <laughs> Eve is counting on her fingers. You have um, three already. Can I shout out to a bar? Is that cool? Yeah, totally. What's your favorite bar <laughs> really in Yerevan? Like, well, Calame is pretty cool. <laughs> Calame. Yeah, it's over Calame. 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 Yeah, it's a, mm-hmm. it's a pub. Nice. Yeah. So, you know. Oh, I see Rachel wrote a, a comment under uh, our on our photo. Page? Yeah, oh, on our, uh, I wrote she that says I've my phone ran out of minutes. Oh, she <laughs> <told>. <laughs> <laughs> We're all just sitting here wondering where is Rachel? Right. Where is she? She's know, just trying to tell us. <laughs> <laughs> here you go, Rachel. <laughs> yeah. Well, so... since we have such a, uh, yeah, what is that? Oh no, go yeah. ahead. Since, since we're having such a good time, I'd like to ask a very serious question. Um, and change the tone. Uh-oh. Rachel. Duduk. What is the... Duduk. Do What is it? What is your... What is the most frustrating thing about living in... Where do you live? Norhachin. Norhachin. Uh, the most in, frustrating thing? In yeah, Armenia, in general. Thing. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I have to say... Um, I only have a marshutney that goes to Yerevan, and the marshutney is frequently I knew that. overly <laughs> full of people. Yeah. So once uh, I've a, a couple of times I've been in very compromising positions, or just getting into people's bubbles. Um, there are no bubbles on marshutney. <laughs> no it doesn't exist. Space. Yeah. No. Yeah. I was like sitting on a stranger's lap. It was cool. <laughs> <laughs> You know, they, I swear they fit 40 people in those things. Did you have people asking to hold your bag or Yeah, people have offered something? to hold my bag. I was actually sitting and a guy took my backpack just to be nice, I guess. <laughs> I guess. I guess. <laughs> Did you it want it back? Lap, it what? Fine. Give it to me. What do you want? Give my purse back. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's nice that he took it. I was in a marsh- marshrutka the other day and... Uh, and I was, uh, it was crammed, and I was shoved up against the window, and there were people behind me, and I couldn't lean back, and so I was like almost falling on the lady who was in front of me, of course, sitting down, and I had my backpack kind of over my right shoulder, and it was like in front of me, and I was holding it kind of like awkwardly, and she, <laughs> she took her hand, she like patted my <laughs> my backpack and said, get your backpack out of my face. And I was like... <laughs> Like, where, where am I gonna put it? Yeah, I well, that was excuse me. Where, where am I gonna put it if you put your butt on my face? Well, at, least, at least he offered to take your backpack. That's that's nice. Sometimes well, you, you get know, you, know, you get Steven, the opposite. You know, Stephen, what we can do is have like a video blog, marshrutka stories. Marshrutka stories. That would be nice. Yeah. With four I different mean, I scenarios. I a picture of yeah. how packed the marshrutney was once, and it didn't work out very well. Ah, uh, yeah, it doesn't give the quite the. You'd no. have to have like one of those Google 3D cameras, yeah, you know, where it takes it from all angles. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We and we'd hey, like to ask. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, no, I think okay. I was gonna say the same thing. So go ahead. No, no, you go. No, 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 you no, go. No, 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 no you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rachel. Um, do you have any questions for our guests tonight? Um, for Eva guess, and Renata. Well, I don't believe that either of them had their schools participate in write on. <laughs> we were talking about how long it was, which I love. We, it's we true. Little, we we, we got talked got about it. out on this one. Yeah, yeah. we got called out. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Um, maybe they have questions. <laughs> Right on's really cool, though. It's really cool. Did we get the information right that we said? 
Yeah, you were oh, good. perfect. That was it, mm-hmm. yeah. But Rachel, that's not a question. That's just an accusation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right. It's it was disguised. <laughs> it was disguised as a question. Why? Maybe you have some uh, but, tricky uh, that questions. Question, why? <laughs> why? Uh, why? Oh, why are you guys all in your today? That's what I want to know. Oh. For this. Yeah, because they they, they came oh. to the studio. You just met them at Green Bean, and then they came to your show to interview. Oh, no, yeah. girl, this happened a while ago. Yeah. Girl, oh. this was like a month ago. <laughs> it's like a month ago. I thought it was impromptu, like an impromptu interview. Mm-mm. No. no. Rachel, would funny. you like to visit our show sometime? Is this all what it's? all about i think so i think she's <laughs> are this questions you you're calling because you want to I be on the, on the radio oh. <laughs> my dream was to be like delilah who's delilah, delilah. you don't know who oh delilah. i know who Uh-oh. that is okay no, i don't know that oh is my Eva. gosh you're from america and you don't know delilah sorry <laughs> sorry <laughs> i think rachel just wants to be on so she can night. accuse she gave love advice and played soft rock <laughs> Well, oh, Eva hasn't really ever done now. skiing, so yeah, I know. Yeah. I have try new either. things every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so much for calling and for uh, revealing uh, the the fact that they didn't participate in that. <laughs> thank you for thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> and if they would like to, if they would like to answer uh, the question, oh no, was that your question or why are you in Yerevan? That was your question. Why are you in Yerevan? Oh, okay, and yeah, they because they're here. Yeah. So, are yeah. you guys going to be there all weekend? No. Yeah. Nope. Don't, oh. don't oh, tell no. her. We can talk to you. <laughs> I'm coming in tomorrow. There's always <laughs> oh. It's a bitter end to the conversation, but we uh, have to go. Do I still get do you have a, quest Yes, song? what is the song you'd like to listen yes, to? Yes, I want um, Jeremiah Was a Bullfrog, otherwise known as Joy to the World. Uh-huh. Oh, solid song. Uh-huh. Classic. Nice. Yeah. Joy to the World. Mm-hmm. It's I almost up. requested Every Rose Has Its Thorn for Eva. <laughs> Oh, so but that we can do versus buttons and thorns. <laughs> 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 okay, we have to find your song. But okay, thank you, Rachel, we'll for calling thank us you tonight. Guys. Yeah, thank Great you. Night. Hope you enjoyed our conversation I and hope you enjoyed the rest of our show. Thank I, you. I did. Bye, Bye, Bye. As a man, baby, baby, In our studio with Eva and Renata. Peace Corps volunteers. Really enjoying our evening tonight. Really enjoying our Friday <laughs> evening. Hope Thank you, you feel so the much. same way. Yeah. So probably. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Uh, I know that it's uh, it's not a simple thing to uh, travel, and uh, coming coming on an evening when you didn't have any other plans is probably not. Uh, the easiest thing to do so thanks for, for coming and being it a part of it was definitely worth it it was not at all a problem oh, <laughs> yeah. cool. traveling's an adventure like yeah. uh, Rachel said those marshunis are always fun it's yeah. very enjoyable yeah. <laughs> 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 this is exotic this is exotic yeah. yes. <laughs> extreme this is exotic <laughs> <laughs> uh, what um, what 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 what's the about, most uh, what's, what's a lot so of times many questions when you're so far from home there are these things just like little things, you know. You you're miss like walking down the street, yeah, and you realize <laughs> oh, it's just not the same. It's not like home. Are there any things like that for you in in Armenia where you think like I want to oh, go it's home? It's just not the same. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, the the exotic taste of avocados I miss dearly. <laughs> uh, uh, avocados are close to my heart, and I miss their flavor. <laughs> <laughs> just like with Miss Dolma. Yeah, yeah, um, just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Lama, that. Lama. Yeah. Lama. What is this quesadilla? Yeah, <laughs> like, what are the dishes that you've tried here that you really liked? Oh. The really traditional stuff. Traditional, I mean, yeah, like uh, during Nortadi New Year, we had like all the massive feasts. Um, everyone would come around and we eat lots of dolma, which is amazing. Um, little like stuffed leaves of goodness. Uh, and wrapped up, and um, what else? The blinchies, not half bad. <laughs> not, uh, half bad. not half bad, <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> um, and what else? The Hornervats, of course. I mean, that's like a yeah. summer. Oh, yeah. That is, yeah. Yeah. I think I was a vegetarian Must before eat. I came Must. to Armenia, Ooh. and uh, Hornervats has, as I, I will still probably be one when I go back home, and I don't cook meat for myself because I don't know how. Um, but Hornovats is definitely something that like I actually like I look forward to that and I feel a little bit guilty about it 
but it's definitely hey, it's a guilty pleasure. Top yeah. of that, top of that list. <laughs> yeah. Horvats and cognac. Yeah. Yes. Especially <laughs> this happens, especially during the New Year's when you eat and eat and keep eating. And like, oh, forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, <laughs> <laughs> forgive me stomach again. <laughs> and what is the thing that you miss, Renata? Well, I think I mean apart from you know like family and and dog, um, which is family <laughs> super dog. important. Avocados, family and family dog. Family dogs. <laughs> like eating avocados. Yeah. Um, but I think one of the things that I think I kind of took for granted in the U.S. was to walk into any given place and know that the people in there were going to be easy to communicate with. So I think that for me, oh. really, like knowing you know the the fact that I don't actually know 100% that I'm going to be able to communicate effectively and 100% with um with someone that i bump into on the street like i can do the basic stuff especially because now i think we've all gotten down the questions of who are you why are you here how long have you been here are you getting are you married are you going to marry an armenian man <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> that's, no, that's totally... we know how to recognize those Just questions the, now you know the basics <laughs> <We> <laughs> always this i have this weird feeling whenever i go home because well of course here I, i still don't speak armenian very well and when i was living in russia it was like there was a period where i was like i just you sit in a cafe and there are all these conversations going on around you everyone's talking and you just kind of like exist in your own bubble of, <laughs> of like circular psychology of like not, not being able to understand anything but your own thoughts and then i would go home And I'd sit in the cafe and I'd hear everyone's conversations and I'm not <laughs> trying distracted. not trying to listen, but I can hear and you, she's talking about her mother and then this this lady's <laughs> talking about the like her her husband who just cheated on her and I'm thinking like, oh gosh, I shouldn't, Am I be, I shouldn't to? be listening to their conversation, <laughs> but I can't help it. Kind of like a reverse yeah. culture shock thing. But Stan, yeah. Yeah. Can I ha- can I ask one more yes, question? Please, please. Thank you, yes. Steven. <laughs> But this is how it goes. He, he's the boss, you know. I'm, I'm just a, an uh, Armenian living in Yerevan. He's, he's an American, American living in Yerevan. <laughs> so. Wait, you're living in Yerevan? That's the next question, always. Wait, wait, wait. You live here? <laughs> <laughs> live? You moved wait, here? Wait, you moved here? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> well, is there any advice that you could give to Americans living in Yerevan? Or in Armenia, yeah. in general? In Arme- yeah, in yeah. Armenia. Advice. What kind of advice? Uh, like special it- hints or I don't know. <laughs> I think for me, it's take advantage of the people that invite you in for coffee. I think some of the most exciting that. things that have happened have been when I've just stopped on the side of the road and someone I've never seen before has been like, oh, like, are you, where are you from? And I'm like, American. And they're like, oh, do you want coffee? <laughs> and then they're just like, actually, yes, I do. Yeah. And you just go in It's and... read my mind. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's, I, yeah, um, based on that, I, I think, yeah, taking this yes mentality mm-hmm. more than saying no, because Armenians are so gracious and there's so many cool things to see here in Armenia that maybe like tourists wouldn't be able to see for example because they they don't know very much armenian they're kind of hesitant and it's just like not to be hesitant i think that's a yeah say yes more than you say no say no sometimes but also say yes quite frequently well, you know, yeah. there's this thing especially in the regions when, when they invite you for dinner or just share with you what, whatever they have just just uh, like a Every, Hospita- hospitality yeah. thing. I and that's something. Uh, speaking of cross cultural exchange, mm-hmm. that's something I want to take back to America. Is that when I have guests over, I want to give them coffee and uh, cut up uh, sweets, so much fruit sugary and sweets <laughs> and fruits and things. I think that's a really cool kind of tradition to have. It's like offer them the coffee and the yeah. whole package that comes with yeah. the, the coffee. The whole package. <laughs> Please yeah. find the attached whole package. <laughs> a whole <laughs> list. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. And exactly. then coffee turns into dinner and right, dinner. and then <laughs> with all kinds of on the couch <laughs> and, and, and bonfires <laughs> and crazy games of chess and uh, backgammon <laughs> that I will always lose it. Because, Me, yeah, yeah, but it's I amazing. beat Eva in chess because. Because my host dad uh, <laughs> took over my team. Right. So. And, yeah, I'll redeem myself. Okay. <laughs> Eva, you were talking about um, some of your plans for the summer when you have, you'll have the session of school and it will, it will end in June and then 
What? And then what? Well, oh, it's, it's so exciting. I am, um, so the, the biggest, at least for me right now, the, the most important kind of project that Peace Corps has going on um, this summer is Border to Border. This program, or a, a kind of like an initiative taken on by some of the Peace Corps volunteers to go backpacking for three weeks, travel across Armenia. My group, we have three groups, my group will be walking about 350 kilometers over the, the course of three weeks. Cool. Uh, with giant backpacks. We're gonna have some major blisters. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, and we're visiting 19 villages. Wow. And in the north, starting from Bagratashin, then going down all the way from Alaverdi, hitting Dilijan, Sivan, ending in Yehanazor. And we're going to be talking at schools, um, talking to the students about nutrition, empowerment, equality, uh, like important subjects. Uh, that, that need to be covered. Also playing games, uh, playing frisbee, uh, these kind of things. Um, it is so cool. And it's a great opportunity to see Armenia. I can't wait for, I feel like I'm in Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Maybe like <laughs> Hobbit adventuring Epic. over the hills yeah. and mountains. I'm so excited. It's gonna be incredible. But we of course also have uh, groups going from the south up and then also uh, kind of Shirak Mars, uh, Renata's group, Renata's group <laughs> yeah. um, and visiting Artashat. And then we also have to be teaching our boys excellent uh, excellence, mm -hmm. which is a, a one week camp mm -hmm. for boys teaching about like leadership skills, other like gender equality, um, nutrition, and glow girls leading our world, mm -hmm. which is a girls camp, and also a uh, soccer camp. Yeah, which yeah. is goals goals. Yeah. Um, goals. So we got we're it's a very busy summer ahead of us. We're not gonna get bored at all. No, well, this is cool. So this is one of the questions I was going to ask you. What were the sightseeing places that impressed you the most? So so did you get a chance to be in uh, at certain places yet? Or this is just upcoming? Yes. Yeah, so um, I so are, are you talking about for uh, border to border or just like visiting other sites? In our yeah, region? just visiting other so, sites. Is yeah. there something that really impressed you girls? Well, I mean, I'm going to steal Eva's thunder, but Eva lives right next to Garni and Garni, Gatha, yeah. <laughs> Um And, I mean, you get to see it every day, but I got to um, to take a trip and visit her, and we went and explored some of Garni and Gerhard, and it was just really beautiful, and it was, like, snowy, and so it was really hard to climb mountains in, but it was also really pretty, and we looked at the caves and stuff, and I think that that was probably the most exciting thing that I've seen so far. Right, in Armenia. Uh, then again, Renata lives in Gimri, and Gimri, although perhaps not the most, um, it doesn't have a lot of natural beauty, <laughs> it has a lot of beauty in the city, old buildings, yeah. with so much history, especially from the, culture. the earthquake, yeah. the culture, and I, I remember seeing these like amazing murals painted on some of the walls yeah. there. Yeah, the street art, yeah. Really cool, um, a, lot of, a lot of cute dogs uh, <laughs> as well. And Renata feeds them meat. <laughs> when, when my host family didn't understand that I was vegetarian, I would sneak breakfast meat into napkins and feed it to dogs on my way to school. Is this yeah. part of your mission? This is part Renata. of my secondary project. <laughs> Helping not just yes. the human beings of Armenia, yeah. but the dogs. The dogs too. as well. Well, yeah. Gyumri is uh, the cultural capital of Armenia. And the humor capital. Been. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> humor capital, oh, yes. exactly. <laughs> we have a lot of. Uh, famous actors and mm -hmm. other artists that came from Gumri. Yeah. So they, they have this joke. People in Gumri have this joke. Uh, where should a human be from? Gumri. <laughs> where should a human be from? Gumri. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not, even, not even a question. No, it's actually, <laughs> is the fact. Um, but uh, back to your question. We have visited like Horvirap, uh, Norava, mm -hmm. um, other kind of good, like, you know, ancient, like, places, lots of history. I feel like I can, like, touch a wall and just, like, see all the history. <laughs> it's incredible. Yeah. Um, I, I love this fan. I'm passionate about these things. <laughs> so you're the right place to be. <laughs> I am. I got lucky with that one. I won the, the Peace Corps lottery, yeah. I think. Yeah. Um, so. By the way, did you choose Armenia, the two of you? Did you were you able to choose yeah, the country so you came to? Yeah, so uh, it depends what 
with volunteers. Some people didn't choose Armenia. I did. I had the ability to choose. I think Armenia was my first preference. Like, right, uh, and then Peru was second. Well, you know, yeah, why not? Thank yeah. you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah Armenia was first. Um, I, I, I couldn't. I was book smart, just a little bit book smart on Armenia. And it's history, incredible history, and how Armenians are just so strong and like uh, the nature was kind of similar to Colorado. Um, the it was uh, like geographically, yeah, it was a very very cool place that I, I think could... I'm gonna tear up here. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, yeah. No, seriously. From w the Wikipedia page, I just fell in love. I, like, <laughs> I read three sentences and I want, I know that was I enough. That was it. That Wikipedia was it. That was and great. love. Yeah. yeah. And Eva Spangelli story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Steven, you know, I think this is not fair. We're asking all these questions to these girls, but mm -hmm. maybe they have some questions for us oh, tonight. Gosh, yeah. Right. Yeah, because we keep asking and asking okay, we have and one. interviewing we have them. One, but we do have to take a break. At some oh, point. oh, oh okay. <laughs> we, this, this. Or maybe you could you could think about the question so and then fun. ask us when we come back about that. That sounds yeah? perfect. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So we'll have a short break and then we'll be right back. It's ten forty-two, which means Ooh. we're coming to the end of the episode, but we still have a little bit of time left. So and don't you go still away. Can call us five six zero nine zero one. Listening to Stop the World because I want to get off by and, the Arctic Mon Monkeys. And we want to stop the time because we don't want to say goodbye to you. Yeah. Tonight. <laughs> but it is 10.49. Can you Happen again, Stephen. Every, every time. Every Twice time. a day. You never expect yeah. it. You know? <laughs> Who is, control, is con in control of this? Yeah. The guy out there, please. Could, could you please... <laughs> Slow, Slow down. down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, do you have a question for us? Yes. Uh, here we go. Well, I was a little distracted during that <laughs> break, but I can think of a question. Uh, Stephen, why why did you live in Russia? How did you get out of Colorado? You broke free. <laughs> you broke How'd you free? break free? How did you How break, did break free? free from I Colorado? wanna break free. <laughs> I wanna do anyway. I heard that song, mm -hmm. and then I thought. Yeah, I gotta get away from Colorado. It was that song, really. No, it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a theater geek, and as you probably know, theater in Colorado is a little bit in competition with things like snowboarding and ice climbing and rock climbing and mountain climbing. <laughs> and you say to someone, come see my theater show, and they say, oh... I, it's, I, I better go skiing. I'm not even Weigh gonna... the pros and cons. <laughs> yeah. Skiing on a beautiful mountain with my friends or watching this theater geek yeah. perform. Yeah. Oh, no. Right, I know. And so no. It's stiff competition. And so oh. I, I went to Oklahoma, of all places, to study. And while I, when I was in Oklahoma, I learned about some some of the, uh, the Russian theater gods of the 20th century. And I thought, oh, maybe there's something there I should go find out. And I studied abroad. Um when I was a junior in, in college in Moscow and then I like I kind of got invited back to study more and I went back to study more and uh, eventually just stayed there hmm. then I met uh, a director in Moscow when I was working at one of the theaters there and uh, we did a show together and then I fell in love with that director and she it turns out is from Armenia and so we moved here when she she was she got her master's degree in Moscow and so after she finished her studies, she came home and I followed her. So, so who has the rights on your romance movie that you're gonna make based on your life? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? this is amazing. I don't know. That's probably, a nice idea. Probably Anna Maria, my daughter, probably has those oh, rights. Yeah. How old is she? She's nine months, almost ten months old. Oh now. wow! Yeah. Oh, so, so she she's has... got to start planning now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so she, she, yeah. she's drafting the script, and yeah, uh, and we have uh, a few, you know, directors in mind, but um, actors, still trying to work actresses. out the details, you know. Yeah, well, actors and actors. Who's gonna play you, Leonardo DiCaprio? He finally won. He's he finally, finally won. He's one. pretty busy these <laughs> yeah, days. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny Depp, I think. Uh, yeah. oh, he has some a free swagger schedule. Here, some swagger. <laughs> okay, here's my question. Do you uh, is there anything that we haven't said this evening which you have to say on the radio while you're in Armenia on your two year adventure that you just can't not say? 
door by the piece. I know. Oh my gosh. Pressure. Uh, let's the see. Pressure. The pressure is on. Renata, go. I was going to say that any of the views expressed in this interview are not uh, the official position of the Peace Corps. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. I feel like we can say Things that. we have to say. Right on. Right on. And that's, that's good. And not right on, but right, right. with an R. Right. Um, Before Rachel school. Rachel, uh, call us out on that one. No, I mean, so I guess right after uh, Renata says that, I'll say that uh, Armenia is an incredible country. Yes. Uh, and there, I, I feel like there's so much potential and so many sectors uh, that haven't really been exploited yet. Ecotourism, for one. Um, I think that uh, the, the whole tourist industry, the tourism industry is such an incredible, I think, opportunity that uh, Armenia should grab a hold of, take the reins, um, and yeah, becoming more environmentally friendly. And I like, I, I'm a, a very passionate about the environment. So my hippie roots from Colorado. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Working on a, a solar panel <laughs> grant right now, actually, for my school. So For your school? Yes. To get solar panels on the school? Yes. And is that going to be going to be a uh, heating system as well as electricity? Uh, mostly heating. Mostly heating. Primarily, primarily heating. Yes. Um, yeah. So I, I'm all for that, man. Right on. Yeah. Very Did you know that American University in uh, Yerevan has that system already? I saw, I visited them you actually did. to watch a panel discuss uh, renewable energy mm -hmm. in Armenia. And I saw they have an incredible system laid out. And you I, saw the system? I want to steal it and oh. bring it to my school. <laughs> yeah. uh, easier said than done, I know, but yeah. And we're going to be painting trash cans in my village as well. Cool. Uh, painting them? Painting them, like cool. <laughs> <laughs> I know, uh, it's a little strange, but painting them cool colors and with suns and happy faces. Cool. Throw trash away in the trash cans. And in the happy trash cans. In the oh, happy, happy trash cans. Trash cans. Yes. 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 There is always it's a bright be... future. Bright solar panel, sun, bright future. Yeah. Uh -huh. That'll be good. Cool. Honey, all the puns. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is there something you can say about the Armenian language and maybe say something in Armenian? I am happy to be sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, it's pleasant. I'm going to be. I'm, I'm going to translate. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, yeah, it's. What else? What other things? Care. That's the one that, <laughs> that's the care. most important word. Care. Care. Yeah. care. Um, yeah. Gyang. Gyang, yeah. Love, Yerjani, Kleenek. That's a toast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where is our We champagne? learned certain phrases. We did, we did. It's all from the experience. Yeah. Exactly. And Steven knows Savatane. 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 I know uh, Bottle of Marche. Bottle of Marche. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. Oh, you, we know that you got some new stuff here then. Yeah, um... You did some shopping. <laughs> <laughs> but of much. <laughs> but of much is. <laughs> yeah, um, these phrases are very important. Yeah. Also, chada chichi, because oh. children are mischievous. mischievous. As well as we, we are mischievous. Chada chichi. Chada chichi ek. Chada chichi ek. Ayo, chiste. That is my that was Eva's, Eva's phrase through PSD that we kind is of made hard? fun of her. Is yeah. Armenian language hard for you? It, it's an incredible language. It was very hard at first. The GH noise. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> my throat was like, Eva, stop. Stop now. Stop torturing right, me. Stop it. And I was like, I got to keep making that GH noise. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I'm trying to make a... It's, it's, that's not it. <laughs> How long have you lived here again? What is this? Uh, you get it. I've been here a week. Just one week. Just uh, one week. A day. Is that it? Is it still there? <laughs> The thought that You're not supposed right. to do this. <laughs> Pazor. Pazor. But you do not fluent Russian, right? Here. Well, You're that's Russian. my curse. Yes. The curse of the Russian. The that's curse not of the curse. Russian. It's a gift. I know Plita. <laughs> Russian Peter. gift and curse. Yeah. Yes. Soon. <laughs> Coming soon. There we go. Well, I have another question if we have enough time. We do. So. Awesome. Just for one question. Okay. Well, I've done, as I told you, I've done volunteering in America and like in churches and schools. And after that, I really felt 
so good to be the part of this good work. So it gave me this feeling that I'm part of a really good thing. So is this one of the reasons you're doing it, or is there other? Are there any other reasons why you started volunteering? Well, I think it's. I think for everyone on the Peace Corps, it's definitely one of the main reasons. I think we're here because we know that giving our time is really valuable, and I think it it on a personal level makes us feel really good. Um, but I think that I share this with also a lot of other volunteers that I came for the adventure also. I came because I wanted to challenge myself in a different country, a different culture, a different language, and I wanted to be able to look back on 27 months and say I did that. Like I came out of that the person that I am now. So uh, those were the two main reasons that that I decided to do Peace Corps. Well, cool. we can't thank you enough for being here this evening and yeah, for coming so to Armenia much. and sharing with <laughs> us your experiences and your um, incredible choice to come and just help for two years, give two years of your lives to such a a cool thing. With Renata Melionek. Yeah. <laughs> and you, this guy, Nilu. Yes, thank, <laughs> thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank uh, you for having us. Josh, yeah. not a college student. Josh, not a college Hope you enjoyed it and hope you listen to other of our episodes. We definitely. Of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great night. Keep listening to us. Uh, American in Yerevan with Ian MK. And Steven Oxner. Mm-hmm.